In game two, Joe Madden yanked James Shields in the sixth, despite the fact that he was pitching a shutout. Madden moves players around so frequently, it looks like they're, they're working the matchup zone. He wears the number 70 because he knows no player will ever try to steal it from him. Joe Madden doesn't just think outside the box, he threw the box away. He sports a semi-mohawk, cranks the stones while filling out the lineup card, and brings his bicycle on road trips. As Janine Edwards tells us, his last road trip of the season brings him very close to the town he grew up in. Now the 0-1, the Lowry on its way. Swing a ground ball to second, this should do it. Hockey has it, takes it to second himself. This improbable season has another chapter to it. The Rays are going to the World Series. We've never had anybody get the national attention and the level of success that Joe's doing right now. And because of it, it's simply one of the, the best things I've ever seen with sports. Here is Hazleton, a time-worn blue-collar town nestled in the Pennsylvania countryside. It seems like an odd place to find a hotbed of Tampa Bay Rays fans. But Hazleton is where Rays manager Joe Madden grew up. Most of his family still lives here. So Hazleton has adopted Madden's team as their own. It's talked about all the time, like you go, to, you go out to eat, you know, you uh, turn on the radio, uh, you know, you go, you go to the mall, you know, somebody's always talking about Tampa Bay, hey, let's hope Joey does it, let's, let's root for Joey. Even the Yankee fans that I know, they're all sticking for Tampa, you know, because of Joe. Everybody's pro, pro Rays, I mean, everybody's for the Rays. It's, it's spread like wildfire. They're all happy for Joe. Always congratulations, he's doing good, and I wish him luck, all that stuff, God bless all that. Really nice, really nice. It's not just that Madden is from here, it's the impact he's made here. He was a baseball and football star at Hazleton High School, and he still spends part of his off-season visiting. This summer, Ray's games became a fixture on the local radio station. The Tampa Tide has even swept through City Hall. To see him on the field and, um, you know, every time the camera goes over to the dugout, you know, I can't help but think back to, to the days when, you know, when we were on the field together. And he's the same guy. I mean, even when he comes back to town, he hasn't changed one bit. from people that we went to high school with that we haven't seen for years. As a matter of fact, today there were two phone calls from people I haven't talked to in a long time just wishing us well, wishing Joey well, Beanie well, and it's just fabulous. With Hazleton being just 90 miles from Citizens Bank Park, it's understandable that this is Philly's country. This World Series is testing loyalties. The home team or the hometown, either way. Hazleton can't lose. There'll be a lot of talk in the local bars here, you know, with the Phillies and, and, uh, and the Rays. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's Joe Madden, he's from Hazleton, and there's only one team to root for for me, and that's maybe Tampa Bay. I do like the Phillies, I will have to tell you, but with Joe Madden, with the hometown crowd, this is incredible. We've never had anything like this before, and you know what? My heart is red with the Phillies, but you know what? Joe Madden, go. We love you, absolutely. Madden has already booked a big table at Dave Casarella's restaurant for New Year's Eve, an annual tradition. The one difference? This time, Madden will be bringing a wife. Madden and his fiancée are getting married next month.